Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be upcycling a bed sheet. My plan is to make a flowy two-tier dress which should end up looking something like this. I always sketch out my ideas before sewing or to have a guideline during the sewing process. If you haven't already make sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell as well as following me on my socials which will be linked below. First up I separated the two different layers of my bed sheet. I didn't bother opening the seams and just cut it with my fabric scissors. I then I folded my fabric in the middle and laid it out flat to cut out my first tier for the dress. I measured the length of the first tier on my dress form and figured about 60 centimeters should be good. Since the whole dress will be gathered, one panel should be enough for the width of my bust. I ended up having a panel which measured 60 centimeters in length and 2 meters 20 in width. This will make a tight gathering in the end. I overlocked one of the long sides and then folded it in about 3 centimeters to sew my gathering stitches. I prefer sewing across twice as it makes for a cleaner gathering. Knot the top threads together and gently pull together. This is gonna take some time as you do have to take in 2 meters 20 to your bust width, so be patient. Because if your thread rips, you have to do everything again. And we don't want that because probably you've already spent way too long together anyways. So continuing on, once I made it to the correct width, I top stitched the gathers into place. I tried top stitching along the gathering stitches, I also top stitched twice, but this is a pretty tricky thing to do, so make sure that your thread matches your fabric perfectly to kinda hide imperfections. The first tier ended up looking like this, and I really really like the volume it already had, which will be doubled in the end anyways by the second tier, so a lot of volume. In the back of the dress I wanted to add a little bow tie to close it, so I used my pillowcases to cut out two strips. I ended up using the pink lining, which was already attached to it on one side, because I really like the color combination for the straps. I cut out two pieces, which measured one time the length of the pillowcase and 7 cm wide, which will make for a 5 cm wide strap once it's all sewn together. I also measured 5 cm down the seam on the small edge to create a diagonal seam. I made sure to leave one side open to turn the whole thing inside out. Once sewn together, I cut away the seam allowance at the diagonal seam to make it easier to pop the edge out. Cutting away the seam allowance at the difficult parts will be enough, so it should end up looking something like this. I turned both straps inside out and ironed them flat. I then attached them to the upper corners of the open middle back seam. I folded the seam allowance once, 5mm, top stitched it and then folded it again, top stitched it again to have a clean edge. So basically I attached the straps first, closed the seam, leaving about 13 cm open, folded the seam allowance 5mm, stitched down on both sides and folded it again to top stitch again and then finished the opening in the middle back. You can see me here leaving the opening, folding the seam allowance 5mm and top stitching it down. Which by the way ended up being kind of tricky with the whole strap attached already because it got really thick.
then folding it again 5mm and top stitching it down to finish the seam. Which got even harder with the straps already attached because you already folded it once and now you had to fold it again. So keep that in mind, leave it as thin as possible. I always check out my projects how they look on myself just to be sure because the mannequin not always does the dress justice and especially with necklines and lengths it's always better to put it on the person who will end up wearing the garment. But to me it looked fine so I continued on with the second tier of the dress. I already mentioned that I will be doubling the volume of the dress which is why I cut out two panels for the second tier. They ended up measuring 40 centimeters in length and 2 times 2 meters 20 so 4 meters 40 in total in length. I ended up folding the whole thing in half then cutting out 40 centimeters in length, opening it up and dividing it in the middle so I ended up having two panels with those measurements. I followed the same gathering steps as I did in my first tier and measured out 2 meters 20, which is the circumference of my first tier, to fit it together. I also fixed the gathering in place twice, as I did with my first tier, and then sewed the whole thing together. So first tier and second tier to make a whole dress. So here's my thought process for this. And let me tell you I was wrong, but hear me out. As I did with the tubing in my last video, which will be linked in the eye, I gathered the whole panel first and then cut it in two. I did this so that my seams will end up being where they belong, so in the sides and one in the middle back. Would you not cut one panel in the middle, you will end up having a seam in the middle front. That is only partly correct. If you have a garment which needed a seam in the back, let's say for a zipper, then you would end up having a seam in the front if you don't have the panel. But since I didn't need a zipper or any other closure method, this step was completely unnecessary. But I did it anyways and now I have three seams, which I didn't need, but whatever. <laughs> I laid out my two dress pieces, so tier 1 and 2, and put the right sides together to pin. Since gathering is quite inaccurate and my measured 2 meters 20 did not end up being 2 meters 20 but more like 2 meters 30, I had to deal with some volume while pinning. I do that by pinning down the middle of each length, so first half, then the half of the half, so a quarter, an eighth, a sixteenth, and so on, until I end up with a pin every 5 centimeters or so. This sounds really complicated, but it's actually not, so I don't know, maybe I can't explain. Just watch what I'm doing and you'll see what I mean by that. It's actually really easy. So you can see here I have a little volume and I just take the middle of tier 2, so the gathered tier, and pin it to the middle of tier 1, then quarter it and so on and so on. I then continue to top stitch that down. Make sure to leave enough seam allowance, I left about 2 centimeters to hide the gathering stitches. Also a small tip, make sure to lay the piece with more volume down and the shorter piece on top. Your sewing machine will help you with putting all the volume in the seam. Next up are the straps for the sleeves. I used the same method as for the straps in the middle back, but cut out two pieces for the back shoulder strap, which I'll sew together for a longer strap, and one for the front shoulder strap. So in total I cut out six 7cm wide pieces out of my two pillowcases.
I marked the placement for the shoulder straps on my dress form and top stitched them on, attached my label and hemmed the whole dress by folding the edge 5mm twice and top stitching. This was a pretty short but really fun project and I absolutely love how the dress came out and I can't wait to wear it. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to check out all the links in the description, follow me on my socials and have fun recreating this dress, I'll see you in my next video, bye guys!